So there's a bit of a funny story behind how it was that I came to find myself on the banks of a reservoir that I'd never fished before. Um, very poorly equipped in terms of knowledge and tackle with very little in the way of expectation. And I certainly wasn't expecting a sail away bite first cast. And I was more than a little surprised when instead of reeling in a fish, I wound in a mussel shell. Quite how it gave me a proper bite and managed to get hooked. I don't know, but that's what happened. So the reason I was there is that I'd woken up early and come downstairs to make a cup of tea to be greeted by what I can only describe as a somewhat obnoxious smell emanating from a tackle bag that I'd left behind the back door a couple of days previously despite promising my other half that I wouldn't leave it there and I'd move it. I'd completely forgotten about it and the bait therein had started to go off. So, been a responsible adult, I had two choices. I could either stay and face the music when she woke up, or I could disappear out the door with the offending bait, do a couple of hours fishing, and dispose of the evidence. So, that's what I did. Um, now, this resi is of interest to me because I've been told that it contains some rather nice bream, and, and this, this season I really do want to target them but really this was little more than a fact finding mission and despite the water levels been down by two maybe three foot I was still finding over eight foot of water little more than a couple of rod lengths out and it was uh, dropping away beyond that and as you can see I soon got in amongst plenty of skimmers and roach But there was also a few jack pike work in the margins and it didn't take too long before they wised up to the fact that I was winding fish past their noses and one made a grab for the for a fish but somehow I managed to land it and this uh, angry little jack pike was the result which is a little more knowledge for the winter so maybe we'll return for that but by this point and really I had to think about going home to face the music and the pike had moved in in numbers and made it almost impossible to carry on so I went home and blamed the cat